In this video, we're going to build this. We're generating marquees using FinSuite components and styling them in Webflow Designer, just like native elements in Webflow. That's effing sweet. Let's go to Webflow Designer to build our marquee. First, click on Apps and open the FinSuite Components app. Select the marquee component, and we'll have the configure panel right here and see general settings where we can use CMS or static content. Change the direction. Have initial fade in. Pause on hover. Also control the speed of the marquee by breakpoint. Each time you make changes in the configure panel, the result is shown in the preview panel on the right. Let's generate our first marquee. I'll select the element that I want to add the marquee inside of. And before generating the component, let's name it and give it a name of team. The name of the marquee is integrated into the classes that are added to the marquee component when we generate it on the page. I'll keep the source CMS direction right to left and pause on hover. Let's change the speed to 50 to be slower and let's go create marquee. Let's confirm. And nice, our marquee component was generated on the page. Let's look at the structure of the marquee here in the navigator. We have the team instance, which is the parent element of our component, and a CMS collection with a wrapper list and items. Inside the item, we have a placeholder that can be removed to add other marquee content. It's important to say that all these elements are generated with custom attributes that are required to make this solution work. So please don't remove them, don't edit them, just leave them. When we created this component, we also added custom code to the project. To see this custom code, you can go to Site Settings, Custom Code, and check the code by clicking on View Script in this section here. This custom code is also required to make the solution work. So again, please don't remove this. Let's go back to Designer and select the collection wrapper to add it to a CMS collection and connect it to the CMS collection team members. Now we can style the team marquee however we want. First, I'll remove the placeholder and select the item. I'll remove these default styles in the padding and the default background color. And with the CMS item still selected, I'll paste my team member card content. I'll increase the width to 16 rem. And to control the size of the marquee content, the quantity of items per view can be managed using the width. So we can change this to 25%, for example, if we always want to show four items in the marquee. To change the gaps, you can select the collection list and update it to 1.5 rem. Now I'll connect the fields to the CMS source. the image, the name, and the job title. And it should be working. Let's publish our project and see the final result. Nice. Our T marquee is working perfectly. It repeats the content in an infinite loop. It's responsive and also pauses on hover. Now let's create a marquee with client logos. I'll select the section. I'll go and launch the FinSuite Components app, select marquee. And here in that configure panel, I can go direction left to right, update speed to 50, and rename the marquee to clients. 
Let's click on Create Marquee and Confirm. I'll select the CMS collection and connect to Clients. In the item, I'll remove the padding and the default background. Now I'll remove the placeholder and add an image. This image I'll connect with the client's logo. As the logos have different sizes and we want the same gap between each logo, I'll select the item and change the width to auto. And select the list to increase the gap to three rem and align it to the center. Let's publish the project and check again. Nice, we created a hero section with two marquees in minutes and they look great. This can definitely take your projects to the next level. These marquees work so well. They are smooth, they're always going to repeat, no responsive issues. It is really just going to make the project look that much better with these high quality marquees. FinSuite Components is always free with your Webflow.io staging domain. We will never charge you for testing or to build your components. When you're ready to go live, get a plan to publish to production. You are one step closer to building next level components inside your Webflow project. You can download FinSuite Components in the Webflow Apps Marketplace, and those links are in the description below. Go to finsuite.com slash components to learn how we can help you succeed with Webflow. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more about how to build awesome websites in Webflow.